Hey, Dan from Home Meets Road with one of our RV campground reviews. This video is all about our stay at Tall Chief RV and Camping Resort. Now, I've said this before and I'm going to say it again. Anytime there is resort in the name of the campground, red flags go up. That word is overused for no good reason, so just keep that in mind when you're looking for RV campgrounds. Now, before we get started, here are the timestamps for this video. Tall Chief Thousand Trails is located about 35 minutes east of Seattle. Now, if you're looking at this campground, I also recommend looking at Thunderbird since it is in this area as well. I will link that video here. Tall Chief, once again, is one of those RV parks where you drive through a neighborhood street and all of a sudden end up at a ranger station. Now, we parked to the right at a small stop sign and walked to the ranger station office and found our packet at the door. Just like Thunderbird, this park also allows you to pick your own site asks you to fill out a small form and then drop that off at the station. When it comes to the park layout, they do a great job on the map and it is pretty straightforward. Now keep in mind there are no full hookups, so no sewer at any site. So if you are planning on staying long here, keep in mind you're going to either A, have to move your rig to dump or bring a blue boy or honey wagon, whatever you want to call it. Most sites are quite large and could accommodate any rig. However, there are a lot of low hanging branches. Due to COVID, most of the amenities were closed, such as the pool and the playground. However, we were able to enjoy mini golf. We did not have to do laundry here. However, speaking to a couple of other RVers, laundry is great. We ended up in site 43, mainly because it accommodated our truck and trailer. However, if we had a class A or fifth wheel, I'm pretty sure the slides would have hit the trees. It's not that the site isn't wide enough, it is plenty wide for any rig, but the trees definitely need to be trimmed. As mentioned before, no sites have sewer hookup, so we had water electric only, no issues to report. For connectivity, we have Verizon and AT&T, and Verizon was the winner here again. Again, it was at Thunderbird as well, so it is safe to assume that most of the Seattle area favors Verizon. Issues. The two main issues I do want to mention is A, yes, you have no sewer at any of the sites, so you're going to have to dump, but there is only one dump station which allows two rigs at a time so if you find yourself leaving at the same time as everybody else you're going to be waiting in line for quite some time and the second issue is that none of the trees are cut back enough to accommodate bigger rigs if you found this video helpful, consider giving it a thumbs up so it will be recommended to others. And now let's answer that all important question, would we stay here again?
If we needed to stay in the Seattle area for a couple of nights, I think I would come back to Tall Chief. And on that, that is all I have for this video. If you have any questions about this video, leave a comment below and I will do my best to answer it. And as always, if you haven't subscribed already, we are a family of three living full time in our rebuilt vintage travel trailer. We share the good, the bad and the ugly of building your own RV and living the nomadic life. Consider subscribing and we hope to see you on the road. Thanks for watching and happy travels.